ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? We're here with NAM fans, coaches, and we're going to spend a little time talking to them about what they think uh, the fight's going to be like tonight for NAM. Uh, we've been training a lot with boxing, so his boxing is awesome. And uh, he knows the ground, so he falls to the ground, and prepared there. Wherever it goes, he's going to win the battle. I'm here right now with NAM fans, brother Tom. Now, as his uh, older brother, how do you, uh, how you, how's this been for you? I mean, watching your younger brother get into a ring, getting beat up on sometimes, and you know, obviously he's doing really well. But how has this personally been, uh, been, been affecting you? It's great, you know, it's been a good ride. I mean, um, it's all fun and everything until he actually gets into it and it's cold and it's a ballpark. I mean, that's what it's just, it's kind of nerve wracking, you know? Because uh, my brother, you know, he's been going there and doing things, but still, seeing him going counting on him or trying to break his arm, it's, it's hard to it's watch. What's up, guys? We're here with Nam Fan. What's up, man? How's it going, buddy? Doing well. Thanks again for letting us come back and uh, spend a little time with you before your big fight. And so, before a big fight, what do you usually do to, to mentally prepare yourself? You know, I always try to keep my mind at peace, you know, and uh, not try to think about anything, you know, no drama outside the fight. Just try to be cool and calm. Now, for some of us out there who might not know a lot about uh, mixed martial arts events like King of the Cage, Tell us a little bit about what it's about, how it works. Yeah, King of the Cage is pretty much a mixed martial event. A mixed martial arts means like, you know, there's a, a fighters, you know, multiple martial arts styles. Like me, a fighter would fight, uh, you know, maybe karate, boxing, wrestling, another guy maybe Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu and something else and just put them together and see uh, how well each fighter can uh, put the, mix up mix up the, the styles, you know? Right on, right yeah. on. Now you started out with Vietnamese combat arts? Uh, it's it's, it's uh, preferably known as, uh, when I started, on, uh, I started when I was eight years old, it's called Bao uh, Dao uh, Vietnam uh, with Si Chung Ong Thay Ha Ui, you know? Yeah. Cool, and then you ended up moving into some wrestling? Some wrestling in high school and JC College, cool. and I did some Jiu Jitsu, right on. I still do Jiu Jitsu, and then uh, I started doing boxing this past year. Cool. So, tell me a little bit about the passion of fighting a little bit for the community. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, when I fight, you know, I, you know, my inspiration is as our people, you know. So when I fight, I represent, I want to, I want to represent them the best way I can. And like the last time, I was getting my ass beat pretty bad. Into the guard of Man Fam, look at Brady Rain on top. Man Fam's in trouble. Man is a veteran of many grappling events. Oh. All right. I just, I'm just thinking in my head, not, not for my sake, I don't give a shit if he beats my, beats my face in, but I was thinking, oh man, I gotta make my people proud, you know? So I just gotta, man, I think of something, make something, think of something quick, and I did, I broke the guy's arm in the, la in the last, like, you know, me, I had two minutes left, I like, snapped his arm, and so I pulled, pulled a win, and uh, I was happy to represent our people in a good way, you know, victoriously. Cool, cool. Now look, I know you're getting pressed for time, you gotta get a little uh, pre-fight preparation in and yeah. stuff like that. Before we let you go, let, tell me a little bit about uh, Madu Entertainment. Madu Entertainment, uh, you know, you read the words, you know, um, it's a it's a bad word back in Vietnamese, but the philosophy is, you know, you know, Madu, you know, you switch it, it means it's Madu, it represents taking up a negative and turning it to a positive. Right. And it's pretty much a, you know, a fight team slash uh, marketing team that my family put together and just try to find sponsors for, you know, ourselves and an opportunity for other fighters, a big fire to anybody, you know, and just try to make things happen. Cool, Nam. Thanks again for letting us come in here, take a little bit of your time. We're going to uh, be cheering for you up in the stands. Yeah, please. <laughs> Good luck tonight, okay, man? All right, thanks a lot. Yeah.
Tell me a little bit what happened right off the bat. Oh man, he made a catch with a cheap shot. Man, well, okay, we should we do we should can, right? Should can be a shot on me. Kicking they kick me down off guard, and then I, you know, cut no punch. Uh, he probably waited too long to put back enough, and then uh, I stuck my uh, slapped on the apex to get the arm ball. Yeah, I broke it off. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, for your information, Matt Danzig is the new king of the cage, lightweight champion. After the match, the lightweight champion came into the ring. Tell me exactly what happened right there. Oh, you know, uh, I've been fighting for a long time now, and I think, uh, you know, I deserve a title shot, you know, try to represent, represent the Vietnamese community in the best way I can, you know, to show the world what we can do, you know? And, uh, Mac Danzig heard that, and like, he came up, and, like, uh, he's ready, he's ready to fight, you know? He's ready to defend his title, and I'm ready to represent, you know? All the way. This yeah. is John with Explosion with Nam Five, who just won his match. Yeah. Catch you guys later. Yeah.